Good morning and welcome to Moorhead State University's Ernst and Sarah Lane Volgeno College of Education Spring 2020 Commencement Ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of Moorhead State University, Dr. J. Morgan. Welcome to the graduates of Moorhead State University. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and members of our university community, I am pleased to welcome you to this virtual academic commencement ceremony. Moorhead State University has been educating students in this very spot for over 130 years and has proven itself to be one of the best and most affordable universities in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Our students come from within the service region, nationally and abroad, and their success is our most important endeavor. As a symbol of MSU's longtime excellence in providing graduates to the state of Kentucky and beyond, we are pleased to have the opportunity to confer degrees on our next graduating class of Eagles. It is important to note that we have nearly 10,000 students at MSU this fall. Additionally, MSU was recently ranked number 17 in U.S. News and World Report top public regional universities in the South, our highest ranking ever. Many of our graduates come to us as first generation college students. The impact that a regional public university like Moorhead State has on our region and on Kentucky is tremendous. If you are the first member of your family to graduate from college, we congratulate you and those in your support network who have helped you along the way. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Greg Russell, our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Provost Russell works very closely with our university faculty to provide the academic excellence that MSU is known for. Dr. Russell. Thank you, President Morgan. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce my colleagues who are responsible for the effective administration of the university. They are Dr. Jonathan Nelson, Dean of the Elmer R. Smith College of Business and Technology, Dr. Scott Davison, Dean of the College, the Caudill College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Dr. Tony Norman, Dean of the Ernst and Sarah Lane Volgeno College of Education, Dr. Wayne Miller, Dean of the College of Science, and Dr. Lori Couch, Associate Provost for Undergraduate Education and Student Success. Thank you for your excellent leadership at our institution. An institution of higher education is only as good as its faculty. We are fortunate to have outstanding faculty at Moore State University, and I want to recognize those faculty who are joining us virtually for their hard work and dedication to student success. The student commencement speaker is selected by the leadership team of the colleges. With that selection based on the student's outstanding academic achievements and noteworthy accomplishments at Moorhead State University. Dr. Scott Davison, Dean of the Caldwell College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, will introduce today's speaker. On behalf of the faculty and staff in the Caldwell College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, it's my privilege to introduce to you Alexa Potts, today's speaker. Alexa, from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, was selected as the commencement speaker representing the Caudill College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. She's the daughter of Dan Potts and Amy Potts. She graduated with a 4.0 cumulative GPA and earned a Bachelor of Arts in History and Legal Studies with a minor in Spanish. At Moorhead State, Potts was a member of the George M. Lucky Jr. Academic Honors Program. She was an undergraduate research fellow for three years, where she presented her research on travel writing in Kentucky at the Kentucky Philological Association and the Celebration of Student Scholarship in 2018. She also represented the Caudill College at the 2017 IDEA Festival in Louisville. Potts was named the 2019 Outstanding Undergraduate Student in History. She was a recipient of a Caudill College Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences Student Academic Award for Undergraduate Outstanding Student in History, Philosophy, Politics, Global Studies, and Legal Studies for the 
2020 academic year. She completed three terms as the Attorney General for the Student Government Association and was also a member of the SMU MSU Flute Ensemble, the Societas Pro Legibus, and Sigma Delta Pi, the National Collegiate Hispanic Honor Society. As a member and team captain of MSU Rifle, Potts was named Air Rifle All-American and first team all OVC, Ohio Valley Conference, for Air Rifle and Small Board during the 2018-19 season. That same year, she set the school record for Air Rifle individual scoring versus Jacksonville State. At the 2019 OVC Championships, Potts also set the Small Board individual scoring record the small bore individual 20 shots prone school record and the individual aggregate school record. She qualified for the 2019 NCAA championships, championships as an individual. Her academic achievements as a student athlete include receiving the OVC Academic Medal of Honor for Excellence in Athletics and Academics for the 2016-17 school year. Later she was named the 2019-2020 OVC Scholar Athlete, which is awarded annually to the top three men and women in the OVC for their accomplishments and leadership on the field and in the classroom. Potts also served as the student leader for Athletes in Action. Please welcome today, Alexa Potts. Graduating class of 2020, my name is Alexa Potts and I am honored to serve as your commencement speaker. You may recognize me from class. I graduated with a double major in history and legal studies with a Spanish minor. You may recognize me as a member of the George M. Lucky Jr. Honors Program or as the former team captain of our rifle team. However, I want to begin by recognizing each and every one of you for your unwavering commitment to your academic careers despite unprecedented times in our country. You have demonstrated endurance, resilience, commitment to excellence, and hope in the face of adversity. I have no doubt that these traits will serve to carry you far in all your future endeavors. The manner in which we completed our senior year was unforeseen to all of us. Nobody expected to attend lectures via Zoom, take finals in the dining room at home, or attend a graduation ceremony six months after receiving a degree. Nevertheless, here we are. And because of these experiences, I believe we are better prepared to thrive in our careers, continued educations, or wherever, wherever else life may take us. Never again will you be able to say that you have not overcome adversity. Instead of viewing this unprecedented year as an inconvenience, perhaps we should view it as an opportunity for personal growth. To arrive where we are today, we demonstrated grit, which is defined as commitment to the passion and perseverance necessary to reach our goals. As a class of 2020, we demonstrated grit through our endurance, resilience, commitment to excellence, and hope in the face of adversity. I would like to spend the next few minutes elaborating on each of these points. To begin, we demonstrated grit through endurance. A four-year educational commitment should not be taken lightly, and we would not be here today had we failed to endure the challenges of obtaining our degrees. Four years of early morning classes and late nights at the library, fueled perhaps by some fuzzy duck coffee or an occasional mid-afternoon nap, would not have been feasible without endurance. When we chose to endure through the trials of each day, we chose success. I saw the success manifested in my own life when I qualified for the 2019 NCAA Rifle Championships. And I know that each and every one of you has a success story to tell that was made possible by your ability to endure and overcome daily challenges. We also demonstrated grit through resilience. Resilience is the ability to pick yourself up and keep going after a challenging situation. Had I stopped when I received my first less than ideal grade on a history paper or my first mediocre score in a rifle match, I would have missed out on the opportunity to learn from my mistakes. We were not without challenges during our four years at Moorhead. However, our resilience allowed ourselves to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and return better and stronger and more prepared to approach the next task. We demonstrated grit through our commitment to excellence. The moment I stepped onto campus, I knew Moorhead was a place in which I could strive for excellence surrounded by others who were doing the same. On a daily basis, I recited the phrase, progress over perfection, to myself. I think this phrase does a wonderful job of capturing the idea of excellence. Unwavering commitment to progress with the allowance for constructive growth over perfection results in excellence. We demonstrated our commitment to excellence when we showed up every day, striving for progress in our respective duties and responsibilities. I am proud of where my commitment to excellence has brought me thus far in my life, and it is my hope that you recognize the same in your own lives, for without excellence, we would not be standing here today. 
Lastly, we demonstrated grit through our hope in the face of adversity. A world without hope would indeed be dark. We worked diligently each day with the hope that our educations would open endless opportunities for our futures. On especially difficult days, I remembered my hope for the future and I was able to commit to re I was able to recommit to my goal of going to law school and becoming an attorney. We continued to hope when the world began to, around us began to change early in the spring and we continue to hope as we begin to navigate the next stages of our lives in these unique times. May your hope, especially in the face of adversity, continue to fuel your passions. We would not have made it to this milestone without grit. However, we have not had had this grit would it not been for the professors, parents, coaches, friends, and other support staff who walked alongside us each and every day. The days that were seemingly simple, as well as the days in which challenges were abundant. I want to thank every individual who helped us develop our endurance and resilience, demonstrated what it meant to pursue excellence, and provided hope in the face of adversity. You are the reason we learned to pursue our passions and persevere to reach our goals, and your impact does not end with our collegiate careers. I look forward to the day I can return to Moorhead to visit the professors who inspired me and the friends who walked alongside me. I miss the rolling mountains and the calming lakes of eastern Kentucky. However, until I can return, I will continue to remember Moorhead as the place that developed my grit. Despite its challenges, I have many warm memories of my undergraduate years, and I would not be who I am today or where I am today without my four years spent as a Moorhead State Eagle. It is my hope for each and every one of you that despite these unprecedented times, you will remember your undergraduate years in the same manner. We have much to celebrate, much to be grateful for, and the gift of grit to carry with us as we move forward. Congratulations to the class of 2020. What we have accomplished is no small feat. So let us walk forward with pride and gratitude. Thank you, Alexa, for those remarks. Whether in the world of law, or elsewhere in other professions, it is important that all of us take to heart what we have heard today from one of our newest alums. Alexa, we wish you much success in your chosen career. Formal recognition is given to four-year graduates who have achieved academic excellence. Baccalaureate degree re recipients who have completed at least 43 semester hours at Morehead State University and have earned an overall grade point average of 3.50 to 3.69 graduate cum laude, 3.7 to 3.89 graduate magna cum laude, and 3.9 to 4.0 graduate summa cum laude. Associate degree recipients who have completed a minimum of 32 semester hours at Morehead State University and have earned an overall grade point average of 3.6 or better graduate with distinction. These individuals are wearing gold cords today. Congratulations to our honor graduates. Now we will continue with the awarding of degrees. Will all candidates for doctoral, education specialists, and master's degrees please stand and be recognized. Please remain standing. Will all candidates for bachelor degrees in the Ernst and Sarah Lane Bolgeno College of Education please stand and be recognized. Please remain standing. Congratulations on being among the first who will graduate from our newly named Ernst and Sarah Lane Bolgeno College of Education. As you begin your journey beyond Moorhead State and Bolgeno College, we hope that you will leave here with confidence that you are well equipped to make a difference wherever life takes you. We also hope you will always reflect fondly on your time here as among the best years in your educational life. I believe that serving and empowering our surrounding region and its rural communities remains the heart of Moorhead State and Volgeno College. May we have instilled that belief in you. Many of you may choose to serve in regions, states, and perhaps even countries beyond our borders, but I remain convinced that if we keep our hearts strong, our hands can reach and our feet can go farther. Our thoughts, prayers, and well wishes will always be with you as you carry your light to the mountains and beyond. Godspeed and go Eagles. By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Board of Regents of Moorhead State University, I confer upon you the degree for which you qualify. 
with all rights and privileges thereof. With your degree now conferred, you may move your tassel from the right side to the left side. Congratulations. You are now a member of MSU's alumni family, joining thousands of former students who studied at this institution. As a new alumnus, each of you is given a one-year membership in the Alumni Association. I hope you will choose to be an active member of the association and will share your pride in MSU with others. At this time, would you all please stand as Abriana Walker and Emily Bowden lead us in the singing of our university alma mater. As we close out this virtual commencement ceremony, we would like to say thank you to each of you as Eagles for what you have done over your time at Moorhead State University. Both spring and fall of 2020 brought challenges to our university because of COVID-19, but each of you rose to the occasion and we all pushed through it. Thank you for your resilience, your patience, and the optimism that you exhibited. Working together as one team, we were all successful. We wish each of you the best of luck as you move into the next chapter and your career, and we hope that you will remain Eagle Strong. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 graduates of Moorhead State University. Candidates for the degree Doctor of Education, Melissa Ann Adams, Stephanie Lee Bundy, Brandy Murray Calvert, Carla Michelle Chappelle, Corey Martell Clark, Sarah Michelle Elam Farrow, Michael Scott Keebler, Edmund Richard Martelli, Angela Doneen Meyer, Anthony Jamar Mills, Tiffany Minard, Martina R. Skidmore. Candidates for the degree Education Specialist, Robert Lewis Barnes, Charles Foster Davis, Casey Lee Green, Casey S. Hall, James Allen Hood, Patricia Faye McCoy, Bethany Ann McGinnis, Gary E. McPeak, Nick Pennell, Brandon Eli Richards, Oakley Riley, Jeff M. Shannon, Mary Elizabeth Stiltner. Candidates for the degree Master of Arts, Alyssa R. Ackerman, Cherie Nicole Bryant, Topaz Ambrosia Butler, Katie E. Chaffin, Carrie Natasha Cornett, Kayla Gaucher, Joan Hall, 
Michelle Renee Holbrook. Alexandria Danielle Jackson. Hannah Marie Jones. Mary Elizabeth Lewis. Kyla Hecht Miller. Dorothy Shannon Moore. Laura Beth Pennington. Jamie Elise Phipps. Holly Alicia Romanique. Cecilia Roseberry. Haley Brooke Wells. Christy Renee Williams. Joanna Zaff. Candidates for the degree Master of Arts in Education. William Ashley Atkins. Micah Joelle Davis. Alicia Henry. Sarah Ann Hill. Kimberly Ann Mucker Johnson. Sarah Rankin. Samantha Dawn Statler. Jessica McKenzie Stepp. Andrew David Stowers. Cynthia Nicole Tapley. Sarah Clay West. Candidates for the degree Master of Arts in Teaching. Drew Brammel. James Everett Bryant. Taylor Lauren Cash. James Osborne Collier. David Compton. Crystal L. Conway Cunningham. Jesse Keith Currens. Candace Nicole Dameron. Matthew Lane Dickinson. Andrea Dixon. Haley Elizabeth Dyer. Haley Victoria Guffey. Willie Luke Hollingsworth. Mark Logan Johnson. Rebecca Dickerson Maggard. Rachel Nicole Miller. Mary Mize. Timothy James Mulkey. Kaylee Brianna Overby. Andrea Michelle Lyons Rhodes. Josh Roski. Whitney Brooke Sally. Sarah Small. Caitlin Soper. Brooke E. Sparks. Matthew Henderson Taylor. Jessica Dawn Williams. Dylan Jared Wright. Candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts. Casey Lynn Clark Abrams. Braxton Trevor Blair. Sarah Elizabeth Boggs. Hazel Bernice Bradley. Elizabeth Rose Burke. Alexandria Brooke Burton. Megan Nicole Caldwell. Camille Gabrielle Carpenter. Kristen Michelle Carpenter. Christina Castle. Austin Mercedes Caudle. Manda K. Caudle. Mara Dacia Chamblin. Emily Madison Cole. Margaret Grace Witten. Cody Allen Cooper. Shantaya Marie Kraft. Erica Morgan Darby. Kendra Lee Evans. Kristen Leanne Feltner. 
Larissa Renee Gilbert. Sarah Elizabeth Goodpastor. Mackenzie D. Gordon. Sydney Noel Hackworth. Summer Nicole Hall. Tara Dawn Hall. Cassie Marie Handley. Haley Morgan Hannock. Taylor Marie Hoden. Amanda Lachelle Highfield. Julia Ann Hodge. Caitlin Leanna Hopkins. Jennifer L. Howard. Olivia Duranda Howard. Lorna Jane Jenkins. Stephanie Kilgore. Evelyn Leah Kaiser. Savannah Marie Koenig. Mason Lambert. Hannah Elizabeth Lane. Dakota N. Mason. Haley Nicole McFarland. Hannah Carolyn McFarland. Madison Nicole Meadows. Jameson Randall Molette. Autumn Page Niece. Hannah Nicole Niece. Jacqueline Marie Orma. Gary Austin Owsley. Jacob Ryan Parton. Madison D. Patrick. McKaylin Rochelle Pierce. Julia Grace Priest. Corey Edward Rawlins. Miranda L. Rippey. Derek Tyler Robinson. Megan E. Roman. Rhonda Gail Rudd. Sarah Elizabeth Shockley. Destiny P. Simmons. Sydney Brooke Underwood. Savannah Renee Ward. Jordan Renee Weiler. Emily Antoinette Williamson. Ethan Everett Workman. Haley Nicole Yates Markham. Tara Brian Yates. Mm -hmm.